Latest developments now on the deadly shooting of three police officers in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Officers Montrell Jackson, Matthew Gerald, and Brad Garofalo were all killed in a shootout with a man. Authorities say ambushed them at a gas station Sunday. Another three officers also wounded. Last night, community came together for a candlelight vigil. In their memory, leaders are calling for peace as investigators try to piece together exactly what happened. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacona live in the Breaking News Center with more. Patrick, good morning. A family man, a good cop, a loving husband, the epitome of a police officer. All the descriptions we're hearing now about these three police officers who were shot and killed this weekend. Overnight, that very area where the shooting happened in Baton Rouge, it reopened. Bullet holes could be seen in the side of a building there. Two persons of interest, we learned, taken into custody for questioning this weekend. Officers were fired upon when they responded to a call of a man wearing black and holding a gun at a gas station. The gunman was also killed in that shootout with police. Baton Rouge has been under pressure since police shot and killed Alton Sterling two weeks ago, which we've reported on right here for you. And at that vigil just last night, the police chief explains there is still a job to be done. We're a community that's been hurting for the last two weeks, and this, this didn't help. This is not helping. So uh, we, we've got to pick ourselves up here. Uh, you know, the, the men and women of the Baton Rouge Police Department are hurting, but they're going to continue to do their job. Just 10 days ago, one of those officers killed this weekend posted this on his Facebook page. It reads, these are trying times. Please don't let hate infect your heart. This city must and will get better. I'm working on these streets. So any protesters, officers, friends, family, or whoever, if you see me and you need a hug or want to say a prayer, I got you, posted 10 days ago on his Facebook page. Now, the Fraternal Order of Police right now calling for officers to respond with two patrol cars to any calls now. Also asking that officers work 12-hour shifts for maximum coverage. In the Breaking News Center, Brian Yukono, Eyewitness News. Our in-depth coverage of the deadly shootings in Baton Rouge continues now. The second attack on police officers in a little more than a week has police departments taking precautions to make sure the men and women who put on a badge and uniform every day stay safe. Brian Nicono live in the Breaking News Center with a look at what changes are being made to patrols in Boston. Patrick, good morning. Boston police are now pairing up for safety. I want you to take a listen now to what was broadcast over those police radios throughout the day Sunday. All officers are reminded to be extra vigilant throughout their tour of duty. In fact, officers who would typically be on foot or bike patrols are now pairing up inside cruisers. Please clarify, there aren't any threats to Boston. Former Boston Police Commissioner Ed Davis comments on what police officers are up against. Police react to the environment, and, uh, and so right now, um, it, they, they have to focus on safety and making sure that officers are doubled up and, and traveling together and watching each other's back. And the former commissioner goes on to say we can all expect officers to be more tactical and careful when they respond to calls. And in the Breaking News Center, Brian DeCono, Eyewitness News. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of the Baton Rouge shootings. We'll keep you updated on air and online at WPRI.com.